Hey y'all, I'm back with another book review. I just finished um, Thomas Merton's No One Is an Island. It's actually kind of classic. Um, it, he is a priest um, from, oh gosh, I'm totally blanking on the order. It's got nothing anyway um he's a monk and he um basically he has so much to say and so much brilliance and um I definitely have read a couple other of his books I loved his self book that was brilliant and just hearing his life story and just like it makes me appreciate his works even more um and I just love I just love this because um Man, there's so much good stuff. I'm like, it's all flooding in. One of the greatest things is that he emphasizes that no man can be by themselves. Nobody. Not one person, not monks, not anybody. You need other people. And you need, because that's how you're able to show the love of God. That's how you're um, able to um, be with people. And like, everybody's called it to different things. And like, he was called to be a monk. And he was like, not everybody's called to be a monk. Even people that are monks are not always called to be a monk. And I was just like, that's so brilliant. Because I, I don't hear that. I hear like, oh, you should be a monk. You should not get married. Blah, 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 blah. From like different, not not like Thomas Merton, but other like people in the Catholic order. And I'm just like, well, that seems like it's such a hard thing to do. It's such a hard thing to do. To be a monk and be a... um be dedicated to not having somebody a partner in life and like he's like not everybody's called to do that and I'm just like oh good that's good because I know I'm not called to be without a partner in life um and I just I'm like that's just that's so nice to hear I don't know why it's so refreshing to hear that you're not necessarily called to be a monk but or um oh my gosh a nun for me because apparently I'm a girl and there's different titles and I know I just I'm like I can't ever get out anyway um that's a whole other rant I just I love um his illustration of needing other people and needing other people um and sh the way that you're c going to be able to show love is to be loving towards other people and be around other people and like let's face it there's some people we have hard times with and we can't be around but you still need to be able to show love and like I think that's really hard to in today's culture is because um we see people and we just don't want to even be around them at least here in um California like it's very individualistic and it's like I can't be an individual I mean like I'm an introvert. I cannot. Like, it's very difficult for me to be in social situations, but I cannot be without people. Like, I cannot. I, w I lived in Alaska for six months, and I really didn't have people around because it's kind of isolating up there. And I, like, couldn't do it. And I'm just like, I'll, like, I just don't see how people do it. And I think a lot of it has to do with being more self-absorbed and not realizing that there's so many people that need us and need love that we can we can give like we don't have to be a, an island we can be with people and we can be just different people in a situation and just love on people even if we struggle with it it's like it's life and like there are people that we can love like I love my family and I love my best friends and like I'm always there for them no matter what and like those are the people that I can do and like I work towards um people that I can show love to like um looking into volunteering for habits for humanity or stuff like that where it's giving back to people and giving back to your community and just giving back to just everyone around and like you have so much to give no matter who you are it doesn't matter like who you are you have so much to give and I think this like just emphasizes no matter who you are you have so much to give you have so much love to show um especially if you're a Christ follower um and just like you need to be now sorry I just ranted for like five minutes on the importance of being no man 
not being an island by yourself. And not talking about that book, guys, so sorry. But on this book, you do have to realize that Thomas Merton is very heady. It's like reading C.S. Lewis. Like, it's very, like, you're not gonna get it all the first time. You have to read it again and read it again. And, um, so if you're not, like, big into, like, reading heady books, probably not for you. However, I love it. He's brilliant. I think he's great. Um, definitely makes you think a lot. A lot harder about things. Um, just realizing just what God has uh, done in his life and like how we can be people that with intention and be people that are loving other people. Anyway, since I ranted and raved like normal and didn't talk about the book much, I would definitely recommend it. Um, be prepared to read it several times, like reading a sentence several times or just reading the book several times, whatever. Um, it will take a few times because it's just, he's so good. He has so much brilliance and just like one paragraph. It's like, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? He's so brilliant. Anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, and I hope you all have a great day.